out there and you're in a fight for your life, I believe you should be as violent and cause as much damage as you can. Okay, so when we teach the civilian classes, we teach this move too because it's super effective. And um, if we want to incapacitate this guy with a rear naked choke, we're not in a jiu-jitsu match. So I'm not trying to dig my hands in there and take you forever. A lot of you guys have got gloves on, the guy's got a coat. It's whatever, right? So <clears throat> we have a little move here that was dubbed, we're gonna make soup or stew or whatever out of the guy's face. So we're just gonna grab his hair, gonna pick him up and give him some treatment on the pavement there, right? What that's gonna do is two things. It's either gonna take the fight out of him, settle him down, or he's gonna resist and give me the choke, okay? So I'm here, either on the ears or the head, and I'm just, boom, boom. What's this guy gonna do? What would be your reaction here? Push off. Push off, right? Lift your head up. So I'm gonna hit him once or twice, boom, he's gonna lift his head hard. I'm forcing, his is coming up, that's gonna give me a chance to sink the choke. Okay, so I'm using that, uh, that violent impact with the ground to set up my choke to incapacitate the guy. All right, he pushes up, boom, I reach in. Okay, guys, real quick on the choke, I'll teach you the correct technique. Oftentimes, it's not gonna be like that. You know, you're, you're in a match, you can't get your arm to get in, it's just gonna be the power choke. Correct technique is I wanna slide the arm under and have his chin as close to my elbow as possible. That way, when I squeeze both sides like that, it's cutting off the blood on both the arteries. It's supposed to be an artery choke. A lot of times it's a, a trachea choke just because I can't get in deep enough. The skinnier the, uh, your arms are, the easier this choke is for you to do. I'm not a great choker because I have big arms. And, uh, but I, you know, you can, like I said, you can crush a trachea or you can use a rear naked. So I push down, he pushes up, I sink in deep, okay? Guys, I grab the bicep and slide the hand at the back of the head at the same time, okay? I slide the back of my hand on the head. I'm not sure why the mechanics is like that, but this is extremely hard to pull off. If I go in here and he grabs my arm, this slips off a lot easier. This does not, okay? It also gives me a more powerful grip. The, the wrist doesn't uh, flex as much and uh, it creates a tighter choke. Okay. So boom, boom, he lifts up, I sink in, I go inside, and I grab, okay? From here, guys, it's not a pull up, I just bring my elbows together, okay? So I'm here, and my elbows are doing that. It's not something where I'm trying to rip the guy's head off. Not as effective, I want to go here. I want to make the hole that's inside this grip as tiny as possible, right? Again. He goes down. I don't want to punch the guy. We spoke about it yesterday. I break my hand or he moves his head. You hit the ground. Now you're incapacitated with one hand. Okay? So grab him. Boom. Get him lift up. Sink in deep. Over the top. And give him the squeeze. 